Yeah, yeah man, Power 5.1, real famous DJ Clue Desert Storm. Got the gang in the house. Get into yourself, man. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. So, boy, Sleazy will go. You know how we come in. Where the shooters be. My mixtape drop. Make sure y'all go tap into that. Now, question, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just keep it all the way G, man. Do you feel like naming a mixtape that put too much eyes on you as far as what's going on with this whole hip hop and the, you know, the, the police and the. Do you feel like it, it puts a, 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 the wrong type of light on you? Not necessarily. Like, where the shooters be? Like, I explained this before. Like, what the shooters be ain't really like, motherfuckers, I think it's just about gun violence and motherfuckers that got guns and shit like that. But what the shooters be is just like, me and my guys, what we came up out of, what we grew up out of, like, you know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. for sure. That environment we grew up in, so it's like, just stories of that, you know? So so are, are you claiming the Michigan side or the Missouri side? I claim both sides. But, ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like that, I like that. Where do you frequent more, though? Missouri side. Missouri sure. side? Yeah. So coming up out of the out of the trenches, man, out, on the Missouri side, man, who some of the rappers you looked up to? Uh, I always say this: I ain't really never consider my like I ain't really never looked up to no artists. I feel like when you start like when you look up to people too much, you start to follow behind them. You know what I'm saying? Instead sure. of focus on creating your own lane, your own path, and your own legacy. So it's like it's artists that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't look up to them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah. I ain't even look up to my big brothers, you know? Because I always <laughs> wanted to create my own shit, you know what I'm saying? Do my own shit. Instead right, of right. trying to look up to a motherfucker and doing what they doing, you won't even notice you doing it because you looking up to them so much, but you're going to start doing shit they was doing or trying to do it the way they doing. So it's like, I ain't never really look up to no artists and shit like that. That's how it always is, I feel like, man. Like, yeah. with anything, like... It I mean, just in music in general, like you might find yourself doing something another artist did just because you you've heard it in the past or like you heard it in the past and you might not even realize that you that you got it going on, but nah, it'll just, it'll just sound like that. I mean, but well, well, what's wrong with the with being in, 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 in influenced by a few people? You know nah, what I'm saying? And, and, and it ain't nothing wrong with it. Wrong with it. Yeah, it yeah. ain't nothing wrong with it. Yo, what don't you like about the business though? <clears throat> because you got a lot of success pretty fast, from what I see. Uh, is there is there a part is there a part is there a part about the music business that you really just don't like? I mean, it got this cons and pros. There's a lot of shit I don't like about the business. You know, I ain't really like a social person. I'm real anti-social. Some motherfuckers be fake. It be a lot of fake shit going on mm -hmm. with the business. Uh, shit, privacy. You ain't got no privacy. Mm -hmm. Um, you get a lot of hate when you become ses like successful, especially at being black. We get a lot of hate from our own race. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just don't want to see you winning, and then if you did win, they want to find a reason why you shouldn't be winning. You of know course, what I'm saying? So it's like, as far as like, I mean, it feels like you kind of like kicked in the door early. Like, you know what I'm saying? You had a feature with one of the top artists. You know yeah. what I'm saying, little baby. I mean, how did that whole thing come about? Honestly, when my shit started going viral on TikTok, before my shit went viral on TikTok, my shit was already busting in the streets. So it's like TikTok caught on that shit late, but that shit right. put my shit into the industry. You right. know what I'm saying? My shit, that sh that shit put my shit in front of faces like. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna be able to do it on my own. So it's like, I'm definitely thankful for the TikTok shit. But shit, uh, I saw the TikTok of him. Like, my fans were sending me TikToks, like, a celebrity's doing it to it. And he did it. And it just made sense to put him on it. You know what I'm saying? He was coming out to all his shows, listening to that song and everything. So I knew he actually fucked with the song. So it was right. gonna be easy for to get the feature because it's like he already fucked with the song. You know what I'm saying? So. So did you reach out or he reached out? Nah, my team reached out. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. How much did he charge? <laughs> Shit, I don't know how much he charged, but he definitely, he definitely fucked with me. Okay, like, that's he ain't charged me, charging other motherfuckers. Right, you know? I got you. I Shit, got whatever you. it was, I'm sure it was worth it though, man. Yeah. You know nah, what I'm facts. Definitely to put a good spotlight on you from a, uh, a artist that's out there, you know, what I'm saying sliding on records, busting, you know, what I'm saying it's just like it's just a good look. Like if you're gonna spend your money, I think that's the way you should spend your money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Nah, facts. Hell yeah. How was New York treating you? I fought with New York. I was just yeah. saying that shit. I, I can definitely live down here. Yeah. It's a vibe. Nah, definitely. Now, as as far as with this uh, new project you're working on, man, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little bit of insight about the new project you got coming up. The new project, which is going to be the album, shit, uh, it's just the elevated me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of growth in the music. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers going to see how versatile I am, just how like good of an artist I am. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just like no one song, no two songs. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit for the long run, you know. So who's producing up there? I got, you know, I signed a couple producers. I got okay. my producer Ray Santana, Harry Beats. We got uh, 
non-native. We got a lot of pro- producers that's gonna be working on this project with me. So, yeah. Okay. Now, what about features? Like the features and shit like that, we still working on them. We got a lot of people on mine that we mm-hmm. feeling like we wanna fill in some of these spots and shit, but we ain't really made that decision yet. Then now this is where the whole thing you talking about, you know, motherfuckers is phony and <laughs> shit coming along. Cause yeah. I mean, I, forget about what you talking about. I know for myself, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was doing my my albums, and you know my albums, I don't rap no more. So it's like it was all features. Like trying mm-hmm. to, it's a yeah. headache trying to get a million side offs, clearances, and features, and you gotta call niggas over and over and over. And sometimes you you could kind of like get the feeling type of way, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like facts. you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> someone don't answer or whatever maybe. Like you know I what I'm saying? Like, I feel like for real, for real, a lot of niggas be too afraid to say no. So they'd beat around the bush, That's you know what I'm saying, is. before they'd be real with a nigga and be like, shit, it ain't the time. Like, I ain't got no time to do that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I really want not feel no type of way, you know? Because it's like, shit, the tables always turn, you know? So I'm going to work for my position every time. But that's why they scared to tell you no, because if those tables turn... And you can come back and be like, "Yo, you wasn't there for me when I when I needed you." No nah, facts. And now it's 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 kind of better off leaving it, whereas you don't make contact. Yeah. Because facts. you can make some type of excuse later. Because as soon as you say no, this dude right here, he 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 ain't, take, he ain't dealing with no like that, yo. Yeah. Facts. You ain't telling Clue no, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do, he's taking it personal like the rest of us is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Facts. That's just what it is, bro. And I feel like I feel like. Shit, like I came in the game like on my own, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm repping cities like ain't nobody really made it out of us. So it's like shit. I've been doing this shit on my own this long. I got myself to this point this long, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. I'ma continue to work for that shit. Like I ain't a motherfucker don't owe me nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking for no handouts. If I actually you say no, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm in my position, I'm gonna be on the same shit. I'm gonna act funny. I I got one question. What made y'all think that y'all was gonna make it from Kansas City because the what I've seen from people is when they haven't seen people make it from there they have trouble seeing themselves coming out of that situation what was different about y'all that y'all just knew that y'all had what it took nah shit my whole life I thought like that you know I feel like I always wanted to make it but I just ain't had that belief like you said a nigga feel like I ain't never seen this shit happen so they feel like you know what I'm saying it ain't gonna happen for them you know but Shit, I had to start believing in myself, you know. My grandma, she just passed. She believed in me. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So her believing me so much made me start to believe in myself like shit. My granny would tell me all the time, like, I know y'all gonna make it. I just hope y'all make it before I pass and shit like that. So it's like little shit like that. Knowing there's people in this world that really believe in you, that shit made me believe in myself even more. And it's like when I broke that cycle, now it's young niggas from my city feel like they can make it now because shit, I done made it. So it's right. like. Definitely. Yeah. What you think was that one defining moment when you were like, damn, I really, I made it? Uh, Maybe it's a phone call or a moment or something. Shit. When I, when I got that call about finishing up my deal, for real, for real, like signing that deal, mm-hmm. but like I made it. Like that's the goal when you rapping in the hood. It's like get a, get a record label deal, you know? Nah, definitely, definitely. What it feel like though? That shit felt fake for real, for real. It felt fake for a long time. Mm-hmm. Shit feel like I'm. Until dream, that wire clear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That wire drop. That's shit, what even then, you know, like my lifestyle different than what it was now. Yep. Like, I can go in the store and buy what I want to buy now. I can just wake up and be like, I want to go here. I can wake up and be like, I want this. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Don't you feel like the world is fake a little bit when it's like that? I feel like that we in the Truman Show because I'm kind of going through what you going through because my popularity is growing. Mm-hmm. He's been doing this for 30 years, 20 years. You know what I'm saying? So when your popularity is growing and you just not feeling it, sometimes I, I just wake up and be like, I can't believe that this is really what's going on with me. People are really checking for me like that. Nah, facts. I feel like you just got to adjust. It takes time to adjust to your new life you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I feel like it's chapters in life where it's like you go back to chapters and you it's like you ain't gonna get that in this new chapter you gotta go back to every, like see that shit you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so it's like when I won when I ain't making this shit when I ain't had this type of money and I had all this fame and shit it was just a chapter in my life and it's like I'm past that shit now mm-hmm. so it's like this what I'm on now yo man definitely gotta thank you for coming through we're gonna play the joint that made you Get to the place you are now, man. That first sure. joint, man. Get introduce that joint, man. It's boy Sleazy World Go. This is my hit single, Sleazy Flow, featuring Lil Baby. Let's get it. 
Power 105.1 Clue Radio, Desert Radio. World famous DJ Clue. SO, you know the vibes. Ah.